We are now going to look at the joints of the elbow. A common injury of the radial head can cause it to be sent either anterior or posterior as a result of falling backwards or forwards onto an outstretched hand. To examine the radiohumeral joint, locate the radial head with the patient's elbow in a neutral position. Now assess the quality and quantity of motion by initially flexing the patient's elbow to 45 degrees while pronating and supinating, assessing the joint through an arc of motion. To demonstrate anteriorization of the radial head, first seat the patient with the operator standing on the dysfunctional side. Grasp the patient's flexed elbow with one hand, placing the thumb posterolateral to the radial head. Grasp above the wrist with the other hand so that your thumb is over the dorsal aspect of the distal ulna. Supinate the wrist with your distal hand whilst extending the elbow with your proximal hand. Just before reaching complete extension, apply an HVT through the thumb to the radial head in a ventral direction with a simultaneous slight increase in supination with your distal hand. To posteriorize the radial head, the patient is seated with the operator standing in front. With one hand, grasp the patient's distal forearm. The thumb of the operator's other hand is placed anterior to the radial head. The operator pronates and flexes the patient's forearm while the thumb holds the radial head. With the barrier engaged, a mobilization with impulse thrust is made by increasing elbow flexion.